Nope, still don't know how big. Still don't know how to make this. Any less awkward. <laughs> Hi friends, how's it going? Hope you're all doing splendidly. Um, I thought I'd pop my little face on in and say hey, because I was watching back my last sort of few videos and I realised that it's been a while since you'd gotten to see my lovely face in all its glory. Um, or, you know, just like since I had a talk. <laughs> not that kind of talk, don't worry, you're not in trouble. Um, yeah, I don't know. Felt like it'd been a while. So The last time I like sat down and did a video like this was um, at the beginning of this year when I was reflecting back on the last year. Um, and I thought that it would be fun, not that much fun, not gonna get crazy, but I thought it might be nice to just do like a little mid-year update because I was watching back on like the goals that I'd set out for this year and it's quite interesting I think to to reflect halfway through. Um, can't believe it's been seven months already. When will it end? Um, yeah, so a lot of time has passed already and here's what's going on in my life. I finished my first year of university it was uh, an experience, I would say. I'm very much looking forward to the next year um, because I feel like that's when it all really get interesting. And um, I know the last time I was talking, I wasn't really sure that it was challenging enough, um, but I've decided to stick it out just for the sake of beating people and doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm currently on summer vacation, which, hasn't been all too eventful, um, but with regards to university, my first year, I think it went well. One of my teachers who is kind of like notoriously the hard nut of my school that I'm at and everyone thinks that she's a bitch. And I really love her because I think, similar to myself, she's quite misunderstood and she's not a bitch at all. She's just, she just says it like it is. A lot of people can't handle that. Um, anyway, she has said some really encouraging things about me and my acting craft, um, which has sort of inspired me because before I really um, attended university, it had been a long time since I've done any acting, so um, that was nice. I feel positive about that. Um, one of my resolutions was to do more acting, uh, and I acted in... Three? Yeah. I did three, uh, four, well, four, I've done four projects so far, film projects, which is a lot for me because I hadn't really done any before. Um, all kind of just student short film type projects, uh, which has been an experience and I'm trying to sort of rack up a show reel. It's been good fun actually, you know, feeling like an actress. Um, and similarly along that vein, I made a short film, which uh, you may or may not have seen. If you haven't, I'd like you to watch it. Um, I'm really so incredibly proud of it. Uh, and I don't say that an awful lot about things that I do. I've never really done anything like that anyway. Um, but it was a big challenge that I'd set out for myself um, because it was a collaborative effort. And if you're watching this and you collaborated, thank you again. Um, I've said it a lot, but I really couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, so it was a collaborative project. So then not only did I have my own expectations to meet, I had a lot of other people's expectations to meet as well, whatever they may or may not have been. Um, and I am a self-critical perfectionist. So I was really worried. It was quite a big task. It's about a topic very personal and sensitive to me. Um, and I know very personal and sensitive to a lot of people who experience it in different ways. So it was a big old task, um, but I am really happy with the results and the response that it got has been overwhelming. And I forget, I get down on myself because of my personality type and I'm never satisfied with anything that I do, but that's another discussion. Can child screaming 
um, yeah. that's those are my some of my own sort of flaws um, so I do forget sometimes that I did that but when I'm reminded I'm reminded that I am really proud of myself and it wasn't easy um, anyway so that happened um, which is pretty cool uh, what else so yeah so my summer I've just been working um, and doing some things <sighs> wow <laughs> riveting if you want to see sort of my goings on i'm very active on instagram that's kind of the main one i suppose where uh, i document what i do i've gotten really into film photography um i was kind of dabbling last year when i was introduced to film photography um but i kind of stopped doing it for a little while but purely because i didn't have anything to really take pictures of i know you could take pictures of anything but it is expensive, it's not cheap to do um, and I I get inspired by like my surroundings and and things and I just don't really have the subject matter. I've been taking lots of rolls of film which I'm really happy with, um, that's something that I will continue exploring. I'd like to focus more on people now, it's hard when you're quite a solitary person um, <laughs> But yeah, people would be interesting. What else? So in other, so in more of like my resolutions, um, I know that I said I wanted to, wanted to act more. I wanted to do more things, basically. So I've done some things. <laughs> um, I wanted to act. I wanted to sing more. I haven't really been doing that. Um, well, I mean. So my, the one only guitar that I've got, which I've had for years and is from the 70s anyway, so it's pretty beaten up. Um, one of the strings had broken, so that kind of I hadn't played in a long time. And then somebody restrung it for me, but then very shortly after another one of the strings broke. So it's just currently sitting in my room with a broken string. So that's kind of hindered things somewhat. So I haven't started singing more, but you know, there's still time. Uh, I wanted to dance more. Again. Well, hey, I mean, um, okay, so I started pole dancing very briefly, which was a lot of fun, um, just because I wanted to like do more active things, but I really don't enjoy working out typically. Um, and also I find, I've just not been able to find something that really works for me. And even in my sort of adolescence, I danced all the time and I was, you know, part of like dance companies and stuff. Um, and it's never been something that's like kept me that fit if that makes any sense um because i wasn't ever a very like fit skinny sort of toned girl i never have been um so anyway i wanted to try and find something active that i enjoyed and i thought that pole dancing sounded like a lot of fun and what a cute little sassy um thing to say to people that you can do um so i did a few classes of that but they were expensive um, and also it's very difficult. It requires a lot of strength in all the places that I don't have any strength in. Um, so it was a challenge for me and I was getting better in my own sort of um, strength goals. Um, but yeah, like I said, it just got too expensive. Um, so I'd like to start yoga at some point. Who knows? Um, I wanted to do more like go to more gigs and and do things and I mean, I just don't have the money to go to all the gigs that I want, but I've been doing more things and I think that that's important. So, um, halfway through the year so far, so good, I would say. It's been all right. Um, it's also, since the last time we spoke, um, been my one year anniversary of me living in London and boy, has that been a ride. It took me a long time to really find my feet here. Um, if you stuck with me through it you kind of all know bits of it I struggled I struggled for a lot of it and I'm still struggling um, but it's gotten easier to manage um, and yeah I'm just making the most of it and living my life I think that's all I can say about that matter I didn't want this to be a long old rambly video but you know what I'm like it happens um, Oh, I chopped my hair off. Hey, that happened. Um, yeah, because the last time it was 
long. I've not had short hair since I was uh, a young girl, so um, it was a decision I'd been toying with for a while. I just went ahead and did it, and I really love it. It's gotten very long. My hair grows so fast. <laughs> Too fast, really. Um, because, yeah, it's only been three months, maybe? Just under? And it's grown, like, ridiculous amounts. So I do need to get it chopped again. But again, money, man. It's all about money in this goddamn life. So, I don't know, it's fucking ex 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 expensive to live, right? And I don't even, I mean, okay, I do. <laughs> I'm bad with treating myself and spending my money. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better at it. And I don't even, I mean, okay, I do. <laughs> I'm bad with treating myself and spending my money. I'm trying to get better at it. Um, also, also, note, new changes. Um, so I've kind of decided that the next logical step in my ethical journey was to eliminate fast fashion as much as possible. Um, and so that's something that I've been focused on. Not focused on, but it's just, it's been hard, man. And it's such a shame because my haul videos were my most popular, really. Um, so sorry guys, no more of those. Um, unless it's a sustainable fashion haul, but that's, so that's, yeah, that's a journey. Um, and one that I'm exploring and one that I think will be really uh, beneficial. We'll see what happens with that. Um, it's kind of just gonna be about secondhand shopping, finding sustainable and ethical fashion brands, um, and just, I don't know, doing my best. Um, but on that note, um, I uh, restarted my sort of Depop account, um, and if you don't know, you probably do, but Depop is like a like a secondhand clothing website, sort of like eBay, but you don't really bid on anything. Um, but you can find whatever it is your heart desires. You can just search for whatever. Um, and yeah, so I'm selling some clothes on there. So have a little mosey if you'd like. Help me out. I'm struggling a bit at the moment, but aren't we all? Buy my shit, yeah? That's all for me. All of my links for stuff is in the bottom. Come chat, come say hi.